Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Hit the back roads in citrus country, and you'd expect to catch a glimpse of an orange now and then. But the orange we're talking about doesn't grow on Florida citrus trees. It just does a good job of working in and around them. This beauty is the handiwork of all-star Alice Chalmers man, Jack Gustafson. This tractor was made for working in the groves, whether it be a vineyard or an orange grove, apple groves, or what. And they have this protective screen for the tractor and for the operator. This is a, a D15 Series 2, 1963, and they call it a bird cage because the front of it lifts up like a hood on a car. I did all the work myself with the help of Norm Miner. He helped me on some of it. Uh, I don't have any of this stuff done by somebody else. I do it all myself. And I'm learning like all the other collectors. And, and this is the only way to go about it. Do it all yourself and then you appreciate it more. That can-do spirit comes from the fact that Jack's been a farmer all his life. I used to plow gardens with my dad's Model B house with a one-bottom plow when I was six years old. And we have had the Alice Chalmers on the farm ever since. And I still farm with the old Alice Chalmers yet. You enjoying the show, everybody? Yeah. Good. The coming out party for Jack's birdcage was the 2001 Gathering of the Orange, held at the Florida Flywheeler Show, where the rare Persian orange machine drew lots of interest. Of course, they ask what tractor it is because you can't tell what tractor is underneath there, and you have to tell them it's a D15. And then they want to know how you service it, of course. And, so, and then we show them how we just lift up the hood or the screen work and so they can service it like any other tractor. The D15 Series 2 birdcage with the diesel engine is one of only seven built by Alice Chalmers back in the early 1960s. And as of now, this may be the only survivor. It's very easy to get on. You got to kind of get on like this here over, over the top. And of course the pedals are, are down the floor. Brakes are, both brakes are on one side so there's plenty of room on it. And it has a high-low clutch. And then the standard four-speed transmission which gives you the, the eight speeds. It's kind of a stinky tractor because the exhaust is underneath so all the diesel fumes come up through it. That's the bad part of it. And then you can't see quite as well as you can with a regular tractor. But it's got a wonderful feeling because you, you ride behind the axle. So it rides very smooth and handles very nice. This tractor has a baby brother of sorts. It's a half-size version of the D15 birdcage, built by Jack's buddy, Gene Gabbert, just for fun. Now, if Jack Gustafson looks familiar to you, well, maybe it's because he and his wife, Barb, had a very memorable wedding just a few years ago. Well, what was unique about that wedding? We got married on tractors. On and a tractor. Not just one kind of tractor? No, my wife has John Deere's and uh, I'm kind of switching her over to Alice Chalmers now, but... Uh, not really. Not really. <laughs> yes, just like the day of their tractor wedding, Barb still likes John Deere, and Jack stays stuck on Alice Chalmers. But they have found some common ground. We really enjoy this, uh, whether it's uh, John Deere or Alice Chalmers, uh, it doesn't make any difference. We, we do like uh, going to all these shows and, and seeing all the tractors. Beyond a shared love of tractors and tractor shows, both Jack and Barb also share in the excitement of their rare D-15 birdcage being selected and photographed for the 2003 Classic Farm Tractor Calendar. Being on the Classic Tractor Calendar is going to be a real honor to us. And if a Persian orange tractor could talk, well, Jack figures this is one rare bird that would be singing a happy tune. Well, I think it'd be proud to be back in the limelight of all the wonderful Alice collectors that are out here. Uh, we brought it back to life, I guess, because it otherwise it would be dead and nobody would ever see it. And I think that's the most important thing of any of us that restore tractors. 